In this video, we're gonna be using Ariane and Evans the Undersea and the Mighty Weck Sexto Blade. Once again, stay tuned. Hey there folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your OCDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And today I just wanted to use some things that I really, really enjoy. One being the Undersea by Ariane and Evans, which is one of my favorite scents. You know, I don't, I'm not crazy about the label, but the scent is phenomenal. Um, today is Thanksgiving. I usually uh, shoot these videos one day ahead, so you'll be seeing this on Friday. But today is Thanksgiving, and I wanted to be rolling with a beautiful scent that I would enjoy uh, throughout the day. Ariane, Ariana and Evans definitely fits the bill for this. Uh, let's go ahead and give you some information on this. The price on this comes to you at under $5 an ounce if you're in the club. And on our price chart there, that is a fair price, or it's in the fair sort of zone. The scent on this fantastic really stout i would call it towards the more strong end of the scale eight nine really really nice um strong scent uh this is an aquatic but you also get a lot of citrus out of it i will show you the scent notes right there bergamot grapefruit marine notes just really one of the, probably my favorite aquatic scent um ariana and evans the undersea terrific ingredients we'll show you there this is the kaizen base which is often heralded as one of the best, if not the best bass. Um, you know me, I'm not crazy about getting into which bass is best, what does best even mean, but it is definitely good. We're also gonna be using the Weck Sexto Blade with the uh, Kismet, is it Kismet Blade? I can't remember, but I'm gonna use this today and it's probably stupid right ahead of Thanksgiving. Maybe I nick myself or get sloppy with my technique, but you know what, we're gonna do it anyway. We just wanna enjoy it today. 24 hours growth, which is standard. Let's go ahead and mist the face. This is just plain water. And we will proceed to lather up. Again, using our Tony Dillette 3D bow. I believe someone said this, that these are on sale for $25 through Black Friday. So check out the links below if you would like to obtain one. Uh, I also have a giveaway for one and I will be giving this one away as well. Just want to spread the love this holiday season. So if you're interested, um, check the links below, but I'll be giving away this one as well as the other one that's already for giveaway. And we'll do that as part of our 5,000 for the second time uh, sub giveaway because we did reach our 5,000 goal and we reached it already probably three or four years ago the first time on my old channel. And so I'm very grateful today and thankful. And that's what Thanksgiving is really all about, being thankful enjoying it with family and friends. This has been a very tough year for many people, including me. We've lost some relatives along the way, loved ones. We have others that are quite ill. And so today we just want to be thankful for all that we have. And I'm certainly thankful for you, the viewers, the people who have lended their support, the people who have hung around for years and years, the people who made us hit 5,000 a second time. Thank you. I really appreciate it. And I am mindful of that today on Thanksgiving. Okay, here we go. Weck. We must not get sloppy today. Oh, man. That is just like... That is like butter. Can you hear that? It's like buttering toast. So smooth. So nice. Man, oh, man, oh, man. I said this last time I used this razor. This is probably the smoothest blade that I've ever used of any type, DE, straight, shave at type. Just incredibly smooth. And in the wick, it just makes for such a close, comfortable shave, provided that your technique is on, and we will hope that our technique is on today. Wow, we, very nice. By the way, we saw up, up for shave Dave's for a straight razor shaving video the other day, and he did a good job. So great job, Uppo. Um, by the way, when, when holding the razor, we'll just show you. Some people hold it differently, but this is the way I hold it on my right side. This, this whack doesn't really have room for two fingers on the tail, but hold it like so, and this is what we do on the right side. And then I simply, simply do the same thing on the left side, like so. It's always difficult when you first start straight razor shaving to figure out what to do with, with your hands and where they should go and so on and so forth. That is normal. 
But over time, it will come. Fear not. Up, up foe, as we call him, is a great guy. And we were happy to see him getting that first straight razor shave in. So great job, Dave. So glad to have guys like Upbo in the community. A truly positive guy, wonderful guy, and um, we love to we love to talk with Dave in the rooms and so on, and just responding in videos. Just a nice guy. All right, very nice first pass there. I'm getting warm already, which is not good, but uh, we're not going to rush. We're just going to be hot, you know. <laughs> Just gonna enjoy the shave, let's rehydrate. And again, just plain water here, no special elixir or anything like that. Get our lather going here. Tremendous scent on this soap. It is slick, as you would expect. It, it has all the qualities that you need in the shaving soap, and then some. For me, it's a very difficult thing when people talk about what is better than what, in what regard, you know? Is it better in price? Is it better in slickness? Is it better in post? And for me, things like slickness, really difficult to measure. I think once you achieve a certain level of slickness, it's hard to get much slicker. That's just my personal feeling. I think most soaps are pretty slick. And things, things like the post are, are very subjective and really can't be measured effectively. Um, and I will also say, one guy's um, post, that's great, might be another guy's post that's not great, or gal. Like I said yesterday, for me, soaps that are very, very moisturizing can leave my skin feeling quite oily, and I do not like that. But the next guy who has really dry skin may think it's the greatest thing ever, so when we talk about what is best when it comes to soaps, it's very difficult. You know when you get a bad one, right? <laughs> but it's really hard to get a bad one today to be honest with you, because most of the soaps are quite good. Every now and then you'll get a stinker, but you don't get them very often. And so what is best is really hard to determine. Um, the objective measurements that I can use are cost, how many ounces of soap do you get, or, or, or objective things that I can actually um, evaluate. Cost, ingredients, uh, and again, Ingredients being something that's sort of in that realm of subjectivity because what I like in an ingredient, you may not. So when it comes to evaluating subs, it's really difficult. Scent, again, subjective. <laughs> so it's, it's not an easy matter to evaluate shaving soaps. Man, what a smooth blade this is. Can you hear that? Often sounds like uh, you're buttering toast that's a little brown. It's a great sound <laughs> when you're shaving, or at least I really enjoy it. And uh, very nice, very nice. I admit. On this pass, the uh, angle of this razor always looks more pronounced than it is. I can assure you it's not very far off my face, but because of the angle, it looks farther than it is. Very nice. The wet never seems ceases to impress me. Also, the heat of this bathroom never ceases to annoy me. <laughs> but again, we're just gonna have a good time with the shave today. And we'll just wipe off the dome there so we don't have water dripping in our eyes. Oh wow. Smooth, smooth, smooth. This is the best edge of any kind that I have ever experienced on anything. These Kismet blades, I think they're Kismet, whew, just phenomenal in this wax Sexto blade. Just, it's probably my favorite um, shaving instrument, period. Just be, with that blade, it is just incredible. I'm just gonna wipe the dome with my timeless cloth here to make sure we don't get too sweaty and Sweat start rolling down in my eyes. We don't need that. I'm telling you right now, in terms of in terms of how smooth the blade is, in terms of how close it gets, this combination right here, this Wex Sexto blade and this Kismet Wex Sexto blade razor, 
and the Kismet is the best combination that I have, period. It is far superior in terms of how close it gets and how smooth it feels to, than anything I have. It is just, for me, my favorite. May not be for you, but it sure is for me. And I find that when I use it every time, I'm like, goodness gracious, this thing is just awesome. I mean, whew, it is top rate. It just feels fantastic. You do have to be mindful of your technique because you've got a very thin, sharp blade hanging out of the razor there. It will not offer you quarter. So if you come in too steep, you will know it. It will leave a memory line. But in terms of how smooth and nice it shaves, you don't have to use, you don't have to muscle it at all. It is phenomenal. Probably my favorite combination. And this soap is one of my favorites too. It's just, it's fantastic also. First rate, great scent, great everything. And uh, man, this is a great day to enjoy a wonderful shave on Thanksgiving. And again, I think we all have a lot to be thankful for despite the very rough year that many of us have had. Again, make sure when you're bringing this blade to the face, you're coming in shallow. Don't come in steep like this. You know, you can almost lay it flat and then slightly rotate it out would be the way I would do it. And you'll be better off. Almost nothing left there. That's how close this razor shaves, man. And all the straight razors I have, regardless of how well they are honed, and I have some magnificently honed razors, they don't approach the level of sharp, smooth combination that this blade provides. They just don't get there. They're still good, they are effective, they are fun to use, but they don't get where this blade is. If a razor could be honed to this level of precision by human hand, it would be absolutely phenomenal. But these are machined and it's hard to get that same level. And these are just quite frankly thinner. And so you can get a more keen edge, presumably. All right, let's finish up here. Pulling down here a little. Sometimes with a straight razor, you have to muscle it just a little bit. With this, you do not. There is a very light touch, very light touch. And boy, this soap is slick, so it just glides with no effort. It's a magnificent combination. I know I'm just droning on and on about this combo, but woo, these blades, the only, only bad part is these blades are not inexpensive. These, uh, th this blade was actually sent to me by uh, Jeffrey Smith. Go check out his channel if you have not. He is a fantastic shaver. He uses everything, a little bit of everything. We're similar in that regard that we just try all sorts of different things and rotate lots of different things in from shavettes, straight razors, single edge razors, injectors. But his videos are so disarming, calm, cool, collected. And he's a very knowledgeable and a uh, good shaver too. He uses everything. He's got a lot of tools in his kit. And I always personally think that the more tools you have in your kit to use, the better you will be eventually. And this is, you know, still relatively new to me in terms of using them regularly. Now, sure, of course I used shavettes six years ago, so. Um, but recently I've just taken the time to get to know them and really learn to use them more effectively. And uh, I've really been enjoying it. And this combination right here, if I were to rate my top open blade combo, that means straight razor, shavette, whatever, this would be it. It just doesn't get any better for me. And I realize that not everybody holds those same feelings. Some people feel like these are very tough on your skin. I do not. My skin feels very very good after using these because the blade is so sharp it just the, the hair um is just cut so easily that you don't have to muscle it you don't have to exert any sort of pressure and for me that that results in the best possible closest shave with the least trauma mm. 
I came in too hot right there, so I might have caused some trauma right there. <laughs> All right, very nice, not too bad. Okay, let's rinse off and then we will come back with the post, stay tuned. All right, and we're back with the Magic Made by Witches. This is Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. And at the end of that shave, I came in a little hot right there. There will be a line. And that is always my Achilles heel with these razors. So do what I tell you to do and not what I do. Sometimes I lose focus, come in too hot. There will be a little line right there tomorrow, I promise you. But apart from that, super nice, super smooth. I really enjoyed it. Um, today we used the Ariana and Evans Undersea. Terrific, terrific scent. We use the Wick Sexto Blade. It is a phenomenal shaver if you're mindful of your technique. I'm not always mindful, <laughs> but nonetheless, still a very enjoyable shave, which is what we set out to do today. And we're gonna finish off with the Splash, which just smells phenomenal. In my opinion, great aquatic scent. And just like that, we're gonna have a fantastic day today. And there probably will be a, a memory line there tomorrow. You, I almost probably, you can see it probably right there. And that is just getting sloppy. And that's what happens when you're <laughs> flapping your gums and not paying attention. But otherwise, nice shave, close shave for sure. I hope all of you have wonderful shaves uh, today. Until next time, I've been your host CDB reminding you it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.